Hello, welcome to a game team channel. Today I will teach you how to set any PSP game textures in full steps. This tutorial works on all games. Let's say you have downloaded the game and the textures plus the save data if available. What you must do then is to go to where your game is using file manager. If you downloaded with Chrome, your game will be on the phone storage in download folder. If you use other apps to download it, then you must go to the folder of that app. You will find it there. Don't get confused. We moved our game to the memory cards in download folder to save our internal storage. After opening the download folder, you can see there are too many files, so don't get confused. There are only two games here, PES 22 and Pokemon. The other files are textures and save data for these PSP games. You can identify a PSP game by its extension, its name usually end with .iso or .cso, but some can appear as a folder with no extensions, they can be also in zip format if they are compressed or appear in other compressed file format. This zip file contains textures of PES 22 which means it got team kit, player faces, stadiums, soccer boots and other textures. But this zip file is a save data for PES 22, which means it got teams names, player names, player information and other details. So both PES textures and save data needs to be extracted, because are compressed. Compressed files can be identified by the following extensions, .zip, .7zip, .ra, and some other extensions. Ok let extract, if you are using ZArchive like us, you can easily extract by clicking the textures and choose view, and copy. But, this tutorial is for everyone. Click on the textures you want to extract, and choose Extract. You can choose Extract here if you like. You must see Archive successfully decompressed notification after extracting, if it was successful. If not, you will see error notification. After clicking Extract, you will see a green arrow button, you must click it, to confirm. After extracting, you will see a new folder. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Now let extract the save data, just do the same steps. After clicking Extract, you will see a green arrow button, you must click it, to confirm. After extracting both files, you must recheck them inside, if there are no errors, the folder which contains textures must have textures.ini file inside, most of the time. After extracting both files, you must recheck them inside, if there are no errors, the folder which contains textures must have textures.ini file inside, most of the time. Alright, now let copy the textures and the save data to the right folder, so that they will appear in the game. Let's start with textures. Hold on the textures you want to extract, and choose copy, and then navigate to where you want to put it. You must put it in internal storage, on PSP folder, inside the folder written textures.
and then navigate to where you want to put it. You must put it in internal storage, on PSP folder, inside the folder written textures. You must click the green button to confirm that you want to copy here. After that, you must also copy the save data to internal storage, on PSP folder, inside the folder written save data. Also copy the save data to internal storage, on PSP folder, inside the folder written save data. To internal storage, on PSP folder, inside the folder written save data. On PSP folder, inside the folder written save data. You must click the green button to confirm that you want to copy here. If you see file already exist, you must tick apply to all files box and choose replace in order to update it with the new one. If you are not sure if it is the real update, just rename it first or copy it to some other folder before you lose it. You must tick apply to all files box and choose replace in order to update it with the new one, then open your game with PPSSPP and play. Just imagine your PSP app as your file manager, so that it will be easy to find the game. The video continues, there will be another tutorial about extracting textures with passwords, so keep watching, goodbye. Wait, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, goodbye again.